And a one, two, three. Oh man. Hold on. Hold on. It's tight quarters. <laughs> there. Oh my my, here we go everyone. The first ever carbon fiber plate trail running shoe to arrive on the channel. Like, I, I wish I could remember the live stream where I think it was maybe nine months ago, we talked about this. We said, when are running shoe companies gonna start launching carbon fiber plates in their trail running shoes, okay? So sure enough, this is the first one, but I had heard that the North Face was coming out. Um, somebody sent me an article. I think it was in Outside Magazine. I'll try and find the article and link to it down below in the description. I thought I heard January or February 2021. If somebody can confirm that, let us know down in the comments. Uh, the North Face, which, you know, I've actually never trained in a North Face trail running shoe, but um, this shoe is, yes, the first carbon fiber plate. Let's go. You all, you all know the box i forgot my knife so we're using keys here let's go oh come on Ugh. there it is there it is you recognize the box okay oh man oh. okay let me flip it around one and a two and a one two three oh man hold on hold on it's tight quarters <laughs> there there it is, there it is. The Nike ACG Gore-Tex Mountain Fly. One, two, and three. Oh my, my, come on now. Butter the bread, can you even, I haven't even seen it yet. You all are looking at it before me. Oh my goodness, all black. There it is, it's crazy. Can you guys see that there? So it's Gore-Tex. Uh, looks incredibly waterproof just right off the bat. A, uh, a waffle pattern on the outsole. Uh, let's see what else, well, let's do the, hold on, let me pull this out. Wait, is, oh, there's nothing inside here. Okay, you ready for this? Let's do the test. Let's see how, yeah. Oh yeah, it's rigid, it's got some rigidity to it. There's a plate inside there. So, again, the first carbon fiber plate, trail running shoe, is this insane or what? There's the Gore-Tex tag, all right? The patent there from Gore-Tex, unbelievable. All right, let's take this, uh, Let's see, I actually, I, all right, in this, a very, very much a booty style upper and collar that wraps around your ankle. So we are on Loveland Pass. We're at 12,000 feet above sea level and it's definitely a lot of snow up here. So this uh, booty style, the reason we drove up here was for uh, to get up into the snow so we can test out this upper especially. And yes, the carbon fiber plate. All right, enough talking, let's lace up. And just so you know, I was trying to figure out what does uh, ACG stand for? all i believe it's all conditions gear 
all conditions gear. This kind of, from what I can tell, this a newer lineup from Nike. Unbelievable. You guys excited? I'm excited. All right, let's put this here. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Oh yeah. Here, there it is right there. There it is right there. Boom, spelled out. I thought, so. there it is. Nike all conditions gear. So crazy. <laughs> oh my my, <coughs> how about that for some sink of beauty up in the high rocky mountains, oh that was good, it got a little crazy up there though, a little windy, and uh, these Nike ACG Gore-Tex Mountain Fly, I don't know what to say at this point, in fact, this is not going to be my first impression vlog, nor my full review of these shoes, frankly, I'm a little perplexed. I need to do more running. I did five miles up here, starting at you know about 12,000 feet, and so I need I just need to do more testing before I give you my opinions. Cause it, oh yeah, uh, let me know in the comments. Am I overstepping my bounds by saying that these are the first carbon fiber plate trail running shoes in the world? On Earth, am I? Is that crazy? Am I missing another company? So let me know in the comments. Let me have it, because uh, as far as I know, and I feel like I'm pretty plugged into the running shoe space, that I would have heard of another company. For example, the North Face shoes, but I don't think they're available yet. Eh? Eh? All right. Woo! Let's. Oh yeah. Water test. Water test. See you down there. Okay, now, now we're starting to get close here. All right, I'm trying to go in. Okay, see, I think it's right here. If you can see that, that's where the water is gonna come in. So let me just try and dig down. Yep, there it is. Okay, now I can feel it. I just felt a little bit come in. It's right here. So just below my ankle bone is where I feel the water in these Nike ACG Gore-Tex. Mountain flies. All right, first carbon fiber plate trail 
running shoe. Testing is in the books. First impressions and full review coming at you very quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, crazy. We started the day in the chair and we're ending the day in the chair. All right, I'm just getting back for my double. Ran twice today, but before I went out for my run, I put it to a vote on the uh, community tab. In case you have not discovered the community tab on the home page of this YouTube channel. Hold on, let me pull it up real quick. Sorry about that. I put to a vote which shoe for the Studio Super fans and the DGR race crew, which shoe I should test out next. Or as far as road shoes are concerned, so we've got the Hoka Arahai 5. We've got the uh, New Balance Fuel Cell Propel V2, and then the A6 Gel Nimbus Light 2. Okay, so the results were, real quick, Hoka Arahai 5 with 20%, New Balance uh, Propel V2 with 31%, and the A6 Gel Nimbus Light 2 with 49% of the vote. So I took this guy out for a 10 mile run, so expect my first impression. Who knows though, I might even skip it, I can tell you. We're definitely going to go to 50 miles. Uh, we'll see if I do a first impression or if I just end, end up doing a full review. So we're closing out the vlog. Yes, I will just say this much about this guy right here. First of all, my feet are dry and warmed up after uh, dunking them in the creek there. Uh, the Nike, all these names, everyone. It's a test. It's a, it's a little test of my mental fortitude. Uh, or not fortitude, mental uh, sharpness is, okay, all these names. The Nike. ACG, Gore-Tex, Mountain Fly. I gotta say, so many thoughts about this shoe. Uh, I will just say this much. I felt the plate. I felt a little energy return. Now, I was on some pretty steep mountains. And from what I can tell thus far, I think I'm gonna get, and whoever buys this shoe, you're gonna get more benefit running in this shoe on trails that are not quite as aggressive as what I was on today up you know, above tree line there in Colorado. On trails that are a little more rolling and even flat uh, rather than let's say straight up the mountain or straight down the mountain. So I'm excited to keep testing for all of you. That's just a really brief first thought about this guy, the first, <laughs> the first, I think, I think, the first carbon fiber plate trail shoe to arrive on the marketplace. Um, it says here on the side, ACG Mountain Fly Gore-Tex is designed and tested in Oregon, USA, and made on Earth. So maybe they're planning on sending this to the moon and seeing if somebody, somebody else finds it someday. Anyway, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. There you go. Question of the day. What are your thoughts? And yes, here is how you use use uh, the, the QD emoji down in the comments once again. Uh, colon, QOD colon. So what do you think about carbon fiber plates entering the trail scene? Okay, I'll be frank. I've got some mixed emotions right now about what's going on here, but that's the question of the day. I'll leave it there. Thanks for answering. Thanks for being here. We're gonna toss it to, um, you know what? Probably the Nike running shoe playlist. In case you're interested in more Nike shoes, Nike running shoe playlist, which has a lot of a lot of shoes there. So right there, right there, right there. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. As always, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.